Hi, I'm Hattie and I'm here with, um, with Louise and Cathy and we're going to chat about the um, Med MHRA, so that's the Medicines and Healthcare Regulatory Authorities review report that they've published um, about um, epilepsy medication and pregnancy. So I wondered, Luke and Cathy, if you could just say a little bit about who you are and what you do for Epilepsy Action. Uh, yeah, hi, so um, I'm Louise, I'm the Director of External Affairs at Epilepsy Action. Hi, I'm Cathy and I'm the Senior Advice and Information Officer at Epilepsy Action. So you're both people who um, have a wealth of experience and knowledge about epilepsy and about this piece of information, this report that's been um, released in particular. Um, I wondered if you, we could start with what's happened, what what has been released, what, what does it say? Um, so the MHRA, which is the medicines regulator in the UK, um, they've done a review of the evidence um, into the risks of epilepsy medicines in pregnancy. Um, so the review looked at all the available safety data about the most commonly prescribed epilepsy medicines. Um, and it found that taking some epilepsy medicines increased the risk of a baby being born with physical abnormality um, or increased likelihood of learning and thinking difficulties um, compared to the general population. Um, we already know that this is an issue for, um, for some epilepsy medicines. Um, so sodium valproate um, it, it is one that, um, that we know about already. Uh, but this review um, puts all of the medicines together um, and confirms that there are several others that do potentially pose a risk. Um, the review also found that um, there were two um, uh, medicines um, that were found not to carry an increased risk. Um, but there are also a, a lot of epilepsy medicines that they couldn't say either way, um, which means that we don't currently have the evidence to um, say they're either not safe or safe, um, which is obviously a problem. And none of this was new information, was it? Um, so we've known about um, the risks of epilepsy medicines when taken in pregnancy for some time, um, but this is the first time that the regulator has um, put all of this information together um, and sort of publicly, publicly recognised that um, themselves. Um, and we hope that the review will, will mean that we can um, go on to look at how we can reduce these risks um, for women. Yeah, so Cathy, I wondered, um, obviously, that might have quite a lot of impact on women and girls with epilepsy. I wondered if you could chat about what we think that might be. Yeah, we speak to a lot of women who are concerned about this issue on our health line. And it's understandable that this might make women who take epilepsy medicines feel anxious. But it's really important that, that women and the families of girls with epilepsy have this information. We would also say, though, it's really important that no woman or girl should stop or change their epilepsy medicine without talking to a health professional. This might be the GP or an epilepsy nurse or their epilepsy specialist. And, and it's recognised that women with epilepsy often face difficult decisions around taking their epilepsy medicine. So we're really grateful that this information is available because we believe all women should have all the available information to work with their health professionals to make them inform us about the best way forward for them. Absolutely, there's some really difficult decisions that people have to make sometimes. So the more information that's out there is, is really important. Um, and this will help with that. But Lou, as you said, there are a lot of medicines in this review that we don't know either way what, what the risks are. Um, I wondered what we want to happen next with all of this. Um, yeah, so, you know, there, there, there are still a lot of unknowns. Um, so it's really, um, it's really vital that um, we push for more research um, into some of these areas. And, and where the current information is inconclusive, um, we try and find some answers. Um, so it's really important that the current gaps in research are addressed. Um, so that women with epilepsy are able to make informed decisions about taking epilepsy medicines um, and pregnancy. Um, I think another, um, you know, another key thing that, um, that we want to see come out of this review um, is that it is sort of more active communication with women about, about these issues. 
Um, so we would really like to see um, all women with epilepsy um, of childbearing age um, receiving preconception counselling, um, ideally once a year um, as part of an annual review. Um, so that is where they're um, invited um, along to talk to a health professional about their medication, about their lifestyle choices. Um, and as we've sort of already said, um, so that they can make informed decisions. Um, part of the concern um, with a lot of these things is that, that we know um, with Valproate, a drug that we've been talking about for a long time, um, that there were, there were women that were taking that drug that weren't aware of the risks. And that's something that we really, really need to avoid. Um, we really need to stop that happening again. Um, and so we want to see, we hope that this information will be cascaded out quickly um, and widely to, to doctors, nurses, um, anyone involved in the care of women with epilepsy um, so that women can be, can be informed. Um, and I'm sure that lots of women, you know, um, do know about these issues, um, but, but there is a concern that, that some won't. Um, and so um, communication is key, really. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Epilepsy Action's working hard on, on that. I know there was a review earlier this year into sodium valproate, um, along, along with other things called the Cumberland Review. And, and one of the asks from that was about a register, wasn't it, of all women who take epilepsy medication and are pregnant to, to feed into this, into this research. And I know um, I hear of people at Epilepsy Action that are, are putting pressure on to make sure that that, that actually happens. Yeah, so um, in, 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 uh, on the back of this review, um, we've written um, to Matt Hancock, the Secretary of State for Health, um, to, um, to ask him what, um, what he can do um, to, um, to try and make sure that women are informed about these things. Um, you also mentioned um, the Combalage review. So that was a review that looked at several medicines, um, not all epilepsy related. Um, and one of those was Valproate. Um, and it made recommendations about what should happen in the future um, to ensure that women are informed about these risks either before they come pregnant or before they start taking these medicines. Um, and as you point out, one of those um, recommendations was around um, a UK wide register um, of women um, with epilepsy um, so that we can more closely monitor, um, monitor the situation and look at who's taking what medicines and, um, and what the possible impact of that might be. Um, and that's something that we really would like to see um, come out of this. And obviously, if anyone has any concerns, if any um, woman or family of a girl who takes epilepsy medication has any concerns like we like you said Kathy we would say that no one should ever stop or change their medicine without talking to um, a health professional um, but the epilepsy action helpline is there to answer questions or give some support. It is yeah it's really important not to stop the medicines because it could mean that your seizures come back or if you're still having seizures you could have a lot more or more severe seizures and clearly that's not good in a pregnancy either. And the helpline number um, is 0808 800 5050 um, and they, there are epilepsy experts there ready to speak to you and answer um, your questions and um, help you with any concerns that you may have.